Okay hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be working on the NYG. All right, so now that it's up in the air, you're going to see the first thing we're going to need to address is that. Now that was caused by being too low. So I think all we're going to do is cut it. We'll square it off. We'll take a piece of sheet metal because all that is is sheet metal. And then we will tack it on and tack it on and a little bit of fill and away it's you go. It's just an outer skin. Yeah, so we'll cut that off. Boom, boom, tack, done. We are going to, that can, come there. that can come out, exactly. The brake lines, gas lines can come out. Well, the brake lines, gas line has to stay. She getting a little seedy. Yeah. We might have to make a gas line. Like that. Or steal the one off the end, uh, Roadster. Yeah. It is SRT swapped one. Yeah. I think that might be the best bet. So let's have some fun. Mm. Okay, when you see him going to work, we did realize gas line is, is rotten. It can be used, I think we move it around too much, it might spring a leak, and it's not gonna last us too long and we don't wanna do that. So I did manage to find in my part cord of neon parts, <laughs> we do have a return line with, uh, I don't know what kind of line that even is, but it is fuel line. So it's a high grade line. Yeah. So you can see here it is a line that has the fittings and a quick disconnect down there. So we're gonna use that as my fuel line because that's what it was on a turboed car at one point in time. And if we look up here, it does have the regulator and stuff. So I'm gonna use the regulator. It's a little overkill for right now. We probably won't even, even use the regulator. It will be there. Okay, I'll, I'll, it'll be hooked up to it, but it won't see boost reference. It won't see vacuum. So it's not gonna be a raising rate regulator like it's supposed to be. It's more for the fact of I need this for the fuel line. And then when we go turbo, we have a raising fuel regulator with the return line. That's what it's gonna be. Yeah. So I'd probably leave that up there. Actually, I'll take it off. And we'll... Yeah, we're gonna get on our reach up there. Oh god. So rotten. So he has to take this one off. Once that's off, all that should drop down. And all that is is like a push clip. And then we can probably, I think first thing we should do is get this cut out, get the next one bent, get it up there. I think I'm gonna just make a piece from here to here. That's all I did on my first gen was literally just. Yeah, and then put a piece mine. right there and up. This side is holy. Well, let's get the, all the lines and stuff down yeah, and we'll see. Everything out of the way. So when he's doing that, we do have aftermarket sway bars that we already have that are going on. We're gonna be power coating the spindles and the calipers, which is gonna make me scared of these backing plates. I got rust in my eye. Technically you can use the ones, you just go slot holes. Yeah. Just cut it, snip it. You gotta get it. Okay, get what? We got a brand new. Oh, I guess we're getting new fucking flex But see, if it works, we'll keep the flex lines. Uh, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, I suppose just cut it there and then we can get it off after. Exactly. That's what I think, too. All right, let's get fuel pump down here so we know where it is. Let's get. Actual brake lines. Brake lines down here so we know where it is. And then we can cut the metal. Yeah. Which is literally, we're just going to cut inch and a half either way yeah we'll leave and, and just tack onto it yeah so it is time to get jeff to cut i guess get that done first that way we can decide that one's getting a little soft isn't it where are we right there yeah so i was thinking i might as well just cut it out and i just put, put a piece. piece right there yeah you put a piece over it 
drill a couple holes in it because all the holes are for is just to let moisture and everything get out. Yeah. So it doesn't sit. A snail? Looks like it. Yep. Snail shell. Got it inside and it could never get out. I wonder if you left a shell. So you'll see, literally you cut it out. We're going to clean it up, put a piece over top of it, and then clean that up, put a piece over top of that. The joys. Mm. So tape measure and away we go. Okay guys, so what we're going to do is we're literally just going to put on the frame paint. Try not to make a mess with this stuff, because that's what I usually end up doing. definitely black so what Jeff's gonna do is he's going to grind up around here so we can weld our patch on that one weld our patch on this one and as you see we got inside now obviously this isn't painted just yet once it's welded and cleaned up we'll paint that but as you see through here all that's been painted making it look nice I pulled Jeff off the center he was yelling at me so it will be done and as you can see through here it's done so not bad and he didn't paint the rocker. Even better. Oh, spoke too soon. Oh. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna clean that up and then we are going to weld up. Weld up clean up. I'm getting paint all over me. Man, I look like a Dalmatian. Look at it. So we're gonna do this the unconventional way, only because A, it's very thin metal. B, I have panel bond. I do body work and well, there's panel bond always somewhere. So we are just gonna two part epoxy it. Screw well then. Pretty well. And why not? Again, it's literally just an outer skin, so. Well, it's gonna be just as strong. Stronger than what's there. Exactly. And it saves me from having to I'm supposed to like smooth it out before you put it on. Just so it gives it something to squeeze out. Well, technically you're supposed to do this and then you put a bead on it. So the whole point uh -huh. of doing it this way. So it has something to adhere to. No, it's uh, to clean up any rust, any of, not the rust, but the uh, metal that you just ground. Oh uh, yeah. It's basically its own rust repellent. So if you hold this for a second, <laughs> I will go around and put another bead on it. Not that I need to, because there's already a bead on the other one, but. Yeah. I want to make sure she ain't going nowhere. It's like a death trap in here. You're going to get paint on you that won't come off for a week on end, <laughs> or you're getting panel bond on you that won't come off for a week's end. <laughs> take your pick. Uh, take your rid of the paint. The paint comes off a little easier. Good enough. Yeah. Okay, right, so first one. Which way do you have it? I don't know. This way? Uh, long way down. Long way down? Yep. Yeah. Over further. Right uh, there. Yeah. You screw her in and I will play with the mess after.
factory, uh, like the undercoat. <coughs> there you go. Not that you'll ever see it. No. <coughs> and underneath is all nice and done. All nice. Now, obviously, we can get that when the pad goes down. Yeah. Same with this side. I did around the pad. But yeah. No, I still get a do Oh, yeah. Fuck. All right, so as you see, this is done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take tires off, we're gonna bring the car down, we're gonna do inside every wheel well so it looks factory. It looks new, it's done, it's ready to go, and it's clean. So as you can see, there's overspray through here. I'll show you that when the tire's off. So as you guys see somewhat, the inside of this wheel well is completely done. Let's get you on the other side. So we have literally done every wheel well under the car, under the gas tank, anywhere that you do not see with Pour 15 or Pour 16, Dom 15, same stuff. Canadian made, US made is the only difference. So it dehydrates any rust. It goes on, it's frame paint, it's extremely durable. You can't even break the paintbrush come tomorrow when it hardens up. So this is the last spot we're gonna do. You do see some overspray on these, which is gonna be power coated teal probably. And we're going to put our suspension technique sway bars on that we have. And we have new hubs, new wheel bearings, new backing plates, blah, blah. I can't swear. So blah. So. Light me. I don't know. What's wrong? That's the magnet. Oh. <laughs> so when he's doing that instead of me showing you guys it's it's the same thing let me show you the front when he's doing that so as you'll see every wheel well is done just like it would have been from factory makes it look clean makes it look nice and all we'll do now is put the inner fender up and over and we'll power coat this we got the new k-frame going in as well and it should look killer in here